Hello, and thank you for asking us to contribute something towards uh, some details of what's been happening in Stornoway Free Church over the past year since the coronavirus pandemic broke out. People have been joining us uh, for virtual services, and that's been hugely encouraging, especially those who are not in the habit on the practice of attending church. Our youth fellowship has uh, kept going on Zoom, and that's been encouraging to the young folks and also to Marianne, our youth leader, and all those others who are involved in the youth meetings. We've also had to develop uh, a home Sunday school, um, and I'm really, really grateful to those who have done that. The, the, the Sunday school leaders especially have been hugely busy in providing online facilities and providing virtual um, material by way of videoing locally, and that's been hugely encouraging. And it's wonderful to see the commitment of families, young folks and children to that. And it's great to see videos from their homes uh, of children having actually done some of the projects and holding up to cameras. And that feedback has been hugely, hugely positive. Uh, the women have also developed their own prayer meeting uh, more uh, since the National Day of Prayer last year. Um, and they decided to keep this going fortnightly on a Sunday morning at nine o'clock. And uh, that's been very, very encouraging for themselves, but also for the whole congregation. And having it at nine o'clock means that uh, one of our members, who is a missionary in Cambodia, uh, Muriel McLeod, can actually join in uh, these prayer meetings with the, with the women. And also Claire McLeod, uh, who is in Germany with OM, uh, she's also participated, and they both send updates for prayer for the women's prayer group. Uh, Marianne has also headed up a trauma healing course. She's a facilitator in a local trauma healing course. It's a biblically based course, and she runs it uh, with help from a member of another congregation uh, to help folks going through certain traumas. And also there have been one or two uh, occasions when Christians Against Poverty courses have been run, trying to help those who've uh, fallen into debt or have money problems and help with budgeting and so on. And that's been, of course, increasingly the case. Uh, since the lockdown began. Uh, we're very much encouraged by feedback from our online services and the move to Zoom has given our housebound folk uh, who were not able to come to our midweek services, it's given them the ability to share in the services midweek as well. And so too have uh, younger families who with children couldn't uh, come out together as a family uh, easily anyway to, to our midweek meetings. And they're able to now join at home, and we're seeing that increasingly the case. Also, some of our uh, members have reported that uh, they've got to know their own neighbours better, especially in terms of trying to support uh, vulnerable members of the community, and uh, they've got involved with various projects in that way, or else helped privately, and that's also been hugely positive and encouraging as a blessing that's come out of a very difficult time. We're, of course, grateful to God. Uh, he's the one who, above all, uh, sustains us. He's the one who has uh, uh, spared us in the, in the island here from uh, the worst of the virus, the worst of the outbreaks. And he's given us the technology and the infrastructure as well to uh, contact each other and also to provide the online services that we're trying to, to keep going with. And in everything in that way, God has always gone ahead of us, as he always does. And we trust that from uh, this time of difficulty and challenge, one of the main things that we want to see is people coming to know their need of God, uh, coming to respond in their own way uh, by faith in God, by trusting in him, and that more and more people will come to realize that, not least uh, those who are in government nationally and locally, uh, that this would actually be also for them a time when God would touch their hearts and make them realize that, it is in him we live and move and have our being. So thank you for listening. I hope these few points have been encouraging uh, to you as they've been to us and that you know many encouragements too wherever you are yourselves. Thank you.